hello everyone and welcome back in this youtube channel so i am dr jay kumar shamraj and now we are starting with a new topic having a name kingdom animalia so in this video we have to discuss about the criteria for animal classification or we can also say the basic of animal classification so before starting of this topic let us see some introductory part introductory points about animal classification so we know that there are having millions of animals there are having 1.2 million animal species all over the world so there is a great diversity so these animals are differ from one another in their habitat level of organization or body plan or symmetry of symmetry of their body pattern or body cavity germ layers etc so we have to classify that organisms that animals in a particular classification so they are having broadly we can divide these organisms or animals into two class two groups that is called as chordates and non chordates so the chordates means the organisms which which is having notochord in their body the organisms which is having notochord that organisms are called as chordates that is notochord is a noton means back and corda means string or cord so notochord is a rod like structure which runs mid dorsal line of the body whenever this notochord is present that organisms are chordates and simply the non chordates are the those organisms which do not having such a type of such a type of cord so called as non chordates that is a notochord is absent in non chordates organism so in that particular non chordates organism there is having ventral and ganglionated nerve cord these are the characteristics which are found in case of non chordate there is having ventrally situated nerve cord and ganglionated nerve cord is found in case of non chordates animals so depending upon the presence or absence of notochord the organisms can be divided into two group that is chordates and non chordates whenever whenever the notochord is present notochord is a steep rod like structure and whenever this notochord is present that organisms are called as chordates and whenever this or uh, this uh, notochord is absent that particular group is called as non chordates non chordates again we can divide organisms on the basis of vertebral column that is vertebrates and invertebrates that is those organisms which is having a vertebral column that is called as vertebrates the animals in which there is having a vertebral column that is called as vertebrates and the organisms without a vertebral column are called as invertebrates so these are the dividations which present or which can divide the organisms on the basis of notochord presence or absence or notochord uh, vertebral column is presence or absence so which are the criteria used for the animal classification there are having many criteria by on the basis of that criteria the animals can be divided or classified into many many groups or phyla in that we can found that on the basis of grade of organization that is there is having cellular grade cell tissue grade or tissue organ grade on the basis of this three criteria animals can be divided into different phyla again on the basis of body symmetry that is asymmetric organisms radial symmetric organisms and bilateral symmetric organisms or animals 
on the basis of body symmetry we can also divide or group these organisms into different groups on the basis of body cavity presence or absence of body, body cavity we can divide the organisms into a silomate pseudo silomate and silomate type on the basis of germ layers whether they are diploblastic or triploblastic we can divide organisms into two groups on the basis of segmentation also we can divide the organisms into unsegmented and segmented type of organisms so let us see one by one now the different criteria for the animal classification in that first is the number of germ layers we know that every multicellular organism begins its life from a single celled zygote the zygote is divided redivided to form many celled mass of cell that is first of all zygote divides into two cell then four cell then eight cell then uh, there is forming a mass of cell and these cells then get rearranged into two or three layers and that layers are called as germinal layers so the germinal layers having again uh, when an organism show only two layers that is called as diploblastic organisms in case of diploblastic and organisms or diploblastic means there is having two layers two germinal layers so called as diploblastic animals in that diploblastic animals there is having two layers two germinal layers the outer ectoderm and inner endoderm whenever these two germ layers outer ectoderm and inner endoderm these only two layers are whenever present that organisms are diploblastic animals besides that between the these two layers there is having some non living layer between that two ectoderm and endoderm layer there is having a non living substance that is called as mesoglea so in the organism in which there are having only two layers ectoderm and endoderm these two layers whenever present in a particular organism that organisms are called as diploblastic organisms or diploblastic animals and in the second type that is called as triploblastic animals in that triploblastic organisms all the three layers germinal layers are present outer ectoderm inner endoderm and beside there there is having also a third layer that is called as mesoderm so in in case of triploblastic animals ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm all these three layers are present so diploblastic condition is found in phylum cnidaria and triploblastic animals are found in phylum or triploblastic condition is found in phylum platyhelminths onwards from platyhelminths onwards triploblastic is condition is found so depending on the basis of the germinal layers organisms can be divided into diploblastic animals and triploblastic animals then second point of criteria for animal classification is animal body plan animal body animal body plan so in that first is the cell aggregate plan so in case of cell aggregate plan in this body plans there is having the aggregation of cells this is the simplest type of body organization which is found in uh, sponge like animals or poriferan organisms in the organisms the animal shows aggregation of cells with least division of labor and there is no tissue formation takes place and besides that no tissue formation no organ formation is found in these organisms and also there is no nervous coordination between them so such a type of body pattern which is called as cell aggregate pattern in which only so shows aggregation of cells and no nervous coordination there is a minimal differentiation and division of labor among cells and such type of cell aggregate plan is found in phylum porifera or poriferan organisms second animal body plan that is a blind sac body plan so it is having 
it shows a little complex type of animals and there is having a digestive system also in this body plant body is like a sac here we can found the body is like a sac body is like a sac with a single opening there is having only one opening there is having only one opening single opening so the digestion is carried out in this sac like a structure where ingestion and ejection takes place through a same opening so ingestion taking in the food material and ejection the removal of waste can be takes place from that same opening so in this condition there is having incomplete digestive system no uh, complete digestive system there is having only single opening sac like body pattern that is called as blind sac body plan such type of body plan is found in phylum cnidaria in phylum cnidaria is this type of blind sac body plan is found now about the next animal body plan third body plan tube within tube body plan when you see this diagram of the fish we can found there is having two tubes tube like there is having inner side having a tube like structure and outside there is another white tube so tube within tube body plan this type of body plan is present in advanced organisms in advanced animals and here we can found the di complete digestive system complete digestive system is found in this case of organism that is a uh, elementary can is started by the mouth and end to the anus so this is having there is having a two separate ends of digestive system so called as complete digestive system and such a type of tube within tube body plan is found in found in higher organisms from annelida from phylum annelida onwards all phyla shows such a type of body plan so there is having three types of body plans cell aggregate plan which is found in orifera organisms blind sac body plan which is found in cnidary organisms tube within tube body plan is found from phylum annelida onwards so these three types of animal body plans found in different organisms on the basis of that criteria we can divide organisms into three types then body symmetry symmetry means similarity where the similarity in shape size and number of parts on the opposite sides of of a median line suppose there is having a, when we draw a median line we can divide these organisms into two equal halves that condition is found in some organisms so depending upon the symmetry we can divide organisms into into three groups that is in that first asymmetric animals like a sponge snails the body of these organisms we cannot divide into two equal parts so these organisms are called as asymmetric organisms so here is a diagram of snail we cannot divide this uh, body of these organisms into two equal halves equal parts from any plate so this is a, a so this is an example of asymmetric animal now the second part second type radially symmetric animals radially symmetric organisms uh, the body of these organisms can be cut or divide into two similar halves two similar parts in a number of planes suppose we can divide these organisms into many such type of equal halves equal parts by number of planes all these cuts pass through the center and appears like a radi so called as radially symmetric organism this type of symmetry is radial symmetric organism this type of radial symmetry is found in uh, hydra or starfish like organisms and now third type of uh, symmetry that is called as bilateral symmetric animals so in this case of bilateral symmetric animal there is having variety of organisms in this type of body of an animal we can bisect Uh, these organisms into two equal equal parts by median or vertical plane the two halves are identical 
So this type of symmetry is called as bilateral symmetry and this type of uh, bilateral symmetrical animals are we can found as fish, frog or any higher organisms having bilateral symmetrical bilateral symmetry in their body pattern. This is about the body symmetry there is having three body symmetries or symmetric animals, radial symmetric animals and bilateral symmetrical animals. Now the four criteria for animal classification body cavity which is also called as silo. Where this body cavity is found? It is the space between the body wall and the elementary canal. The space between the body wall and the elementary canal is called as silom or body cavity and this space is produced due to the splitting of mesoderm. Due to the splitting of mesoderm layer this space is formed in the body that is called as body cavity or silom and this this splitting of mesoderm takes place during the embryonic development. So depending upon the nature of the silom there are having three types of animals that is oscillomates, pseudocillomates and silomates. So again we, here is a about the body cavity space between the body wall and the elementary canal produced by the splitting of mesoderm, mesoderm during embryonic development is called as the body cavity or silom. So depending upon this silom, uh, the animals can be classified into three types that is oscillomate organisms, oscillomates means silom is absent. So there is no body cavity or silom. The space between the body wall and animal canal is filled with a particular uh, tissues, parenchymatous tissues. There is no silom. The space is filled with a particular type of tissue, parenchymatous tissue. So, such a type of organisms are called as oscillomate organisms. And oscillomate organism condition is found in platyhelminth phylum. In platyhelminth, platworms, this type of oscillomate condition is found. There is no space, there is no silom, there is no body cavity. Second, pseudocilomate condition. So the members of ascalimens, members of uh, phylum ascalimens, such a type of pseudocilomate condition is found. There is pseudo means false. Pseudo body cavity is found in this organism. So these organisms are called as pseudocilomate organism. The cavities between the body wall and animatory canal is lined up by patches of by patches of mesoderm. There is having some patches of mesoderm. So, such a condition is found in pseudocilomate organisms. There is having no true silom, so called as silocilomate condition. And third type that is called as silomate. In these organisms, all animals from phylum and era onwards, we can found there is having a clear cut silom or there is having a space that is called as body cavity is present in these organisms. Here is the body cavity. This particular area of the uh, body cavity or silom is present in that organisms. So these organisms are called as silomate organisms having the body cavity or silom. In triploblastic animals, the mesoderm splits into two layers and enclosing this particular cavity called a silom. The outer layers lines the body walls while the inner layers cover the elementary canal. That is outer layer of this uh, silomate organisms having the body wall and inner layer is covered with the elementary canal and the, this cavity is filled with a particular type of fluid that fluid is called as silomic fluid. In that silomic cavity there is having the silomic fluid. So these are the again three types of organisms depending upon the presence or absence of silom. And we can also divide these organisms into two group that is uh, asymmetric uh, sorry uh, depending upon the segmentation that is segmented or non segmented so when the external segmentation of the body coincides with the internal segments such animals are called as metamerically segmented organisms metamerically segmented some organisms are segmented and some are non segmented or a non segmented organisms or in segmented organism is also found in some uh, with the help of that uh, particular basis we can also divide the organisms into segmented or 
non-segmented. This is also one of the criteria for the animal classification. Also, we can also divide the organisms on the presence or absence of skeleton. That is, here I have two types of skeletons, exoskeleton and endoskeleton. So, skeleton is a supportive part of the that particular body of that organism. So, depending upon where the exoskeleton and endoskeleton, in case of lower organisms, lower animals, that lower anim animals possess uh, only exoskeleton for their protection. Like in case of cockroach, while in higher organisms, or in case of crab, in that organism there is having only exoskeleton, but in case of higher organisms, there is having internal skeleton and external skeleton also that possess both type of skeleton exoskeleton endoskeleton this type of skeleton is found in case of fish cobra and parrot so external or internal framework which provides support to the body is called a skeleton and it is again having two types exoskeleton and endoskeleton so these are some points with the help of that points or these are some base, uh, basics of animal classification or these are some criteria with the help of that criteria the animals can be divided into many groups so thank you once again for watching this video